that something comes, you should offer it to the fire of knowledge. Now, suppose, I have stolen something and no one knows. And I feel guilty that I shouldn't have stolen that. That thought comes, well, you are sitting in meditation, how about that thought? How about that deed of yours? You are not fit for meditation. Such, such, suppose such a thought comes, offer that thought to the fire of knowledge. You have offered it once. Once you give it to somebody, you don't say, give it to me. Give me my thing back. No, you don't say that. One after another, you offer all the thoughts that are coming to you, all the, offer, all the thoughts coming to you, offer to the fire of knowledge. <coughs> this way, if that thought which you have offered already comes to you, it will not come in ugly form and you can say, but I have already offered you to the fire. How do you exist? Why are you coming to me again? From where? Oh, it's not really thought. It's just a simple memory. It's just like that rope which has tied you, it is burnt. It has no power to tie, though it leaves its ashes. This way you can remove, you can be free from your negativity. Then you have a confidence, I have given all such thoughts, offered such thoughts. I have given all the oblations, all the, to the, to this fire. In this mentally, first thing is to evoke Guru Chakra, to evoke this fire, no fire of knowledge, you see. and then offer all the thoughts. There are three main layers of the thoughts in your mind. Deeply buried, which you are not aware of, latent, whom you can awaken according to the situation, and there are day-to-day -day thoughts. In this process, they say, it's very easy to get rid of all these thoughts and go beyond the mire of thoughts. And they are successful. It's a very successful therapy, more successful therapy. Where is that fire? The fire of knowledge is there through which you think, through which you decide, through which you do things in your daily life. It's there. And then you come down to your Agya Chakra, which is called Gateway to the City of Life. So I told you the order, how to sit steadily and comfortably, how to breathe, and then how to think. Those thoughts which are injurious to you directly, which are creating complex, which are creating problems, because such thoughts might come, you see, express themselves through diseases, which are not curable. Because they are your personal thoughts. How doctors and world know? By that time they analyze, another disease comes. The catalog of diseases is coming, you know, you are knowing today, you see. All the diseases cannot be known through scientific methods. There are diseases which are subtler than that, you know. <laughs> cannot be analyzed yet. They need more analysis, they need more probe. 
proving. Therefore, this therapy is hundred percent accurate. Self therapy. When you have done this, then your mind is brought down, focused on this point. I told you, why do you want to see something? For seeing something, please open your eyes. For not seeing, please close down your eyes. That's the point. I see you, I don't feel bad, you are all wonderful. Now I close my eyes, if I see you, what I'll say? Hey, don't come in my mind. It means your attitude is not right. Attitude for meditation should also be not, which is called sankalp shakti. You are determining no matter what happens, no thought. I fought with my wife few minutes ago. My time of meditation has come. You are still angry and say, what she thinks of herself. I am a provider, I am doing so much, I love her, and she is Sometimes you express your anger during this meditation. Don't do this. You have already done by concentration on Guru Chakra. You decide and determine that I am not going to see anything. For seeing anything, I have eyes, I can use telescope, I can use my glasses. Why do I want to see? Or what is there to be seen? Then, have you ever seen? You, you call complete darkness? If you just do like that and ask yourself, do you see your fingers? Say no. Okay. Then I say, have you got fingers or not? You said yes. But when you don't see, how do you say yes? What is that which tells you that you still exist in complete darkness? You are not seeing yourself. There is something in you beyond your seeing that makes you realize that you still exist. Who is that experiencer of darkness? Who experiences that this is dark and this is light? That is also light that is still exists. So first determination today, no matter what happens, nothing should disturb my mind. I will not worry for anything. Yet, tattva will bring forward their colors. If it comes and goes, doesn't matter. Pay attention towards your focal point. It has many meanings. You can interpret this circle for... Hey, this circle could be a dark hole. Interpretation. This can be a circle. This can be a pit. You see? So here, inside this point, here, when I told you to just meditate on this point, just on the complete darkness, Then you start seeing the light within, from within. You can even attain a state which is called without eyes you can see things, without the help of eyes. This is hundred percent true what I am telling you. Without mind you can attain reality.